Tuesday and it's time for KTK Gives Back and today we're going to a town on Highway 31 and KTK's Isaac Ramirez, he joins us from Athens and Isaac, what group of first responders are we going to be highlighting this morning? Frank, today we are recognizing the Athens uh, Fire Department, a great group of folks out here. And this is actually their newest engine. They got it last year. Look how beautiful and shiny this thing is. They are definitely doing a great job of cleaning and also maintaining their fleet here at the Athens Fire Department. So let's go ahead and meet everyone with the fire department. Here's Chief with us this morning. Hey, Chief. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? We're doing wonderful. How are y'all? Fantastic. And how proud are you of all these people that are standing here right behind you? I'm extremely proud of all the employees that we have working for Athens Fire Rescue. They're our greatest asset. Without them, we wouldn't have a fire department. And what is that relationship that you guys build? A lot of other uh, departments I've been to say, you know, we're family. First responders, we're like family. How would you describe it? Absolutely, that's correct. Fire service has always been looked at as one large family, a brotherhood, if you will. Um, we're a small department of 27 personnel, so we get to really know each other very well. We know each other's family members, so forth and so on. So yeah, it's, it's a unique group. And I know you probably have a good relationship with the community as well. Tell me, how supportive is the community of you guys? The community is real supportive of the fire department. Uh, I've only been here a couple of years, but uh, the guys tell me that as long as the fire service has been here, the community has been behind them 100%. And you guys actually go out into the community sometimes as well. Tell me about some of the things that you guys do, maybe some educational programs. We do a puppet program for the kids. Uh, they really enjoy that. Uh, it's musical and uh, a lot of activity, so it really catches their attention. And at the same time, helps to educate them about fire safety. We also do uh, smoke detector uh, installations if someone needs that. Uh, we do home inspections if they're required. So we're, we're out in the community on a daily basis. And how important is it, you know, to speak to children about fire safety? I know it's still cold right now. People are still using those uh, heaters as well, the space heaters. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's, it's important to educate uh, the young people from a very early age and continue that even as they're going on up into adulthood and just keep that at the forefront. Safety, you can't educate the people enough about that. Well, I want to take a look at your guys real quick because they're not just firefighters. They've been busy as well. They're actually uh, been remodeling here at the Athens Fire Department. Uh, Chief, tell me uh, about everything that these guys have been doing uh, when they are not on a call. We're very fortunate. We have a lot of skilled individuals here in the department. Uh, starting in 2017, they started a complete remodel for the uh, Central Fire Station. Uh, that continued up until 2019. Uh, there's been a new personal protective equipment, uh, fresh air room uh, that's been constructed and that helps to keep our uh, PPE um, out of um, the environment that would have diesel exhaust and things like that and also out of the UV light. Uh, right now we're constructing um, fresh air rooms at both Central Station and Station 2 that um, will enclose our ice machines, our what we call a cascade system. It's where we fill our breathing air bottles that we wear into a fire to make sure that we've got a clean environment. Uh, and that's a safety thing for the guys. Uh, it's also a cancer reduction initiative. Well, I'm glad that you guys are, are definitely taking care of everybody on the crew. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, that's why today we brought y'all a free lunch as well. We brought y'all some sandwiches, cookies, and sweet tea just to show a little bit of gratitude for everything that you guys do. So thank y'all very much. Again, this is KETK Gives Back where each and every week we recognize a different group of first responders here in East Texas. And today we're recognizing the Athens Fire Department. Again, this is all made possible by Peter Chevrolet. A big, big thank you to Peter for allowing us to do this each and every week. So y'all know that Usually, Peters does a donation at the end of the year. Well, Peters decided this year that they would step it up. They're going to make four donations this year. Four, not one, two, three, four. And, of course, we are very excited for that. We can't wait to find out who's going to be getting that donation from Peters Chevrolet. Reporting from Athens, I'm Isaac Ramirez. Back to you.